Hey, what's up, everybody? Welcome back to another Behind the Group podcast. I am DJ Keo. And I am Basil Barrington, and we are back with another review of Moon Knight, episode number two. We are talking about Summon the Suit, and um, man, I'm really, really, really feeling this show, man. I mean, and just how it mm-hmm. looks... I mean, just the story that's behind it. I mean, just everything about it is so sick. What do you think? Yeah, man. I think this is the best show that Marvel's done so far. The best, really. And they, yeah, the best. Better one, than Loki. By far. It's a wide, a wide margin. This is better than all the shows. Better than before. Loki. Yeah, I think so. I, okay. li- I like everything that's going on right now. It's really good, uh, man. It looks good. Yeah, it's a good premise. Mm-hmm. I like the multiple personality thing because Oscar Isaacs, he's hamming it up. He's he's doing a great job with the acting. He gets to play like three different characters all at the same time. Like he's, he's doing it great. And is, it, overall, it's a good premise and it's different. It's not what everybody else is doing. Right. And it's not like split personality in the sort of regular, you know, basic way mm-hmm. that you see like in a lot of movies and TV series. This is a little different. It's a lot of things happening that's helping, you know, Stephen Grant mm-hmm. and also Mark um, Spector in terms of these split mm-hmm. personalities and how they come together and who's speaking to them. It's just, it's complicated in a really good way and it looks good. You can't deny yeah, that, right? It's compelling. I'm you, just You like, want to see more of it. Like, yeah, that's the thing. I, that's the hallmark mm-hmm. of a good show is you want to see more. And because it's a TV series, I want to go back and watch it just to make sure, again, just to make sure I didn't miss anything. Yeah, like when this is all done, I'll probably like zip through all six episodes again. Yeah, yeah. When that's it's all done. That's exactly what I did for Loki. I just like, once it was all done, I just sat down one Saturday and zipped mm-hmm. through the whole like six episodes and it just worked out. Pretty cool, man. You want to give a brief overview of Moon Knight Summon the Suit episode number two? And we can get into it. So, uh, yeah, we finally figure out who Layla is. Yes. Uh, it's his wife, <laughs> which is <laughs> shocking to me. I don't know how he has time for that and still work at the museum and everything, but all right. Uh, so Grant, he, he goes to work the next day. He wakes up in his bed. He's like, what the hell? Maybe it's a dream. He goes to work and he's like, ah, damn, everything was real. <laughs> and uh, <laughs> he goes and looks at the security cameras, which is a, something that's interesting is that we learn the things that he's fighting are invisible to everybody else. Yes. Only he can see them. Yes. That was, and so he was like, it's going to blow your mind when you see what's on the screen, but mm-hmm. don't worry about it. Like, I'm okay. Like he's like, <laughs> and it just looks like he's just a crazy person running around by himself, which makes his psychosis even more interesting. Cause it looks like this is all in his head. That was a great scene. Uh, yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and, uh, so he decides like now that he's fired, He's trying to figure out what he's going to do. And he figures out, you know what? Let me go to the locker and figure out who this Mark guy is. Right. So he walks around to, what is it, five or six locker store, whatever. Yeah. The locker companies. And uh, he tries to figure out which locker this is. And the guy recognizes him instantly. Mm-hmm. And he's like, what the, what's the locker number? 40 something? 43. Locker number 43. 43. And he, and he and recognizes him as Mark Spector, not Stephen yeah. Grant. Mm-hmm. Yeah, because he's been going telling everybody it's Mark something or the right. other, mm-hmm. or Steven, Steven with the V. Mm-hmm. And uh, so he goes to the locker and he discovers there's a cot in there. And uh, he has like a duffel bag with a, a gun and some uh, passports. Some money. And some money. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And so he decides, you know what, I'm going to turn this in and I'm going to try and get this thing out of him. Mm-hmm. And he gets haunted by the Kishnu uh, deity. And uh, that's when he runs into Layla because he's running out of the place. Right. He runs into Layla. And she he takes her back to the house. And Mark is like, dude, don't tell her. Don't you dare tell her. <laughs> and he tells her. And that's when uh, Haro sends uh, the police goons over and they arrest him. And she escapes out through the uh, fire escape. Do they have fire escapes in England? I don't even know. I th- I've never been. I That's, thought that was a New York she's thing. Got the window. No, no, it's there in England. Right, but I thought they were like created, like first and f- foremost, like in New York. I think. Oh, I, the, the fire escape. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah, yeah. I don't know. I have no idea. Well, it I was kind no of idea. a ledge, though, right? It wasn't really a fire escape. 
Yeah, mm. it's like yeah, it's kind of a ledge thing. So she's on the mm. on the rooftop. She escapes, and they take her over to the Haro guy, and uh, he gives a good backstory about what the hell is going on. Because up until this time, us viewers have no idea who Kishdu is, who Amit is, what the battle is going on back and forth. Uh, so he explains, well, I used to be an avatar before. And you got to watch out for Kishdu. He doesn't follow through on his promises. Right. He's going to stab you in the back. Mm -hmm. and, uh, and we also learned that Mark made the promise that he'll be the avatar as long as he keeps Layla out of it. Right. So apparently, mm -hmm. Steven has a split personality, has a wife this whole entire time. <laughs> and Kishdu went to the Mark instead of Steven mm -hmm. to be his avatar. So his split personality has been running all these things, which is crazy in itself. Wow, that's pretty uh, interesting. Yeah, so like it, it's uh, I guess he because he said that maybe he picked him because his brain was already broken, which is also <laughs> interesting. Right. Mm -hmm. Uh, <laughs> so Layla shows up out of nowhere with a scarab. Because I don't. Okay, that was terrible. She needed to show up. He would have figured it out on his own. He was fine. But she came back with a scarab and it, it conveniently gets taken away. I think that was just poor writing on their part. Yeah. They're trying to move the storyline forward. But uh, so she's trying to get him to change and he won't change. And the fight breaks out. They're running around. This, uh, what's the dog called? I have no idea what it's called. There's like a theme for it. The um, uh, I thought they were calling that a jackal of some sort, though. Yeah, like there's a name for it though. Uh -huh. Like there's a there's an Egyptian name for it. Yeah, oh yeah, they did I mention know. the name. I um I didn't write that down, but yeah, that's uh that's the one that's the sort of dog that um Arthur always summons to destroy people, huh? Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's this uh whatever Ahmed controls them or whatever. Mm -hmm. So <laughs> that that's when you realize like, oh wait, only he can see it, but she can't see it either. And uh so he does change into a different suit, mm -hmm. just a a regular suit with a uh She's got like a mask on with mm -hmm. a regular suit with lighted eyes, yeah. which looked cool, I might say. He didn't have the powers, though, cool. without the whole suit on. Yeah, well, he's strong, but he doesn't have the powers. Well, does he, how much powers does the other suit have? I don't really know. Well, you know what? Uh, I don't know too much about the character. He, you know, he didn't take con complete control over Stephen Grant, which is why Stephen Grant was getting beat up, even though he had on half a suit, right? Yeah, well, Steven had, I guess that's Steven's suit. <laughs> uh, but he he was strong. Like, he's super strong. Because mm -hmm. he punched that uh, jackal thing and knocked it out. Yeah, for real. And, and um, he, like, he hit the car and he squeezed the bumper by like, just trying to get himself up. So, like, clearly, he's strong when he's wearing that thing. But, uh, so, um, yeah, the, the escape turns out terrible. And the fight breaks out, and he finally allows Mark to take over. And they basically they lose the scarab. Uh, Layla runs away. <laughs> like she, she drove on a bike away. Like she, she's got away. I'm out of here. <laughs> and yeah. And so now uh, Mark is in full control, and he doesn't want to give it back to Steven. And that's kind of the bulk of the show right there. Right. All right. So what would you think of this episode? I like it a lot because what it did was it, it basically, first of all, it, it um, gave us an idea. It, it let us know who Layla was. Layla is the um, wife of Mark wife? Spector, right? He's trying to get divorced. <laughs> right. Uh-huh. And she basically, she's like, do you want to do this or not? So she's open to staying with this guy, right? Um, mm. so we figured that out. We also figured out that something weird with this locker 43, I mean, because there was a cot in it. It was pretty clean for a locker, to be honest with you. I, I guess Mark was sleep. Someone was sleeping in this, um, locker, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, I think Mark, look, Mark wanted him to go lay down in the bed so he could take over. Right. So uh, there could be something to that between the split personality thing. I don't know. But it's kind of weird having a cot into a, like a locker like that because yeah. they can just lock the door and you can't get out. You're screwed. Right. Yeah, exactly. You know, <laughs> dude, yeah, I, would, uh, I wouldn't do that. I wouldn't sleep inside that. Hey, people do that, believe it or not. You know, just like, hey, yeah, I know. I know like, people do, but I, I wouldn't. No, I would not do that. <laughs> There's no way. <laughs> Absolutely not. Um, Yeah. So, you know, I like this episode a lot, man. It's um, like I said, this 
you know, Moon Knight just looks great. It's a great looking mm-hmm. show, cinematic movie quality. The storyline was pretty cool. This I, I thought this episode was all about, okay, listen, Mark needs to take over um, Stephen Grant. So now we can start getting into the nitty gritty of what Mark or what the uh, Avatar is really after, right? Yeah. So I kind yeah, of so he, appreciate that. Since he took over, because mm-hmm. I, I think the show ended with him in uh, Egypt, mm-hmm. looking out a window. Yeah. And uh, yeah, Steven's mad in the mirror, but mm-hmm. uh, that's fine. I think that we're going to see this from Mark's perspective for, I guess, the next show. Yeah. And Steven's going to be in the background being annoying, which is cool too. But uh, I'm kind of interested to see what Mark has been up to during this entire time. Because apparently he said that, because Steven's asking him, well, how long have you been taking over my body? And it seems like it's been happening for years. It's like a long it time. Like it's, yesterday. <laughs> it's a long time. Yeah. <laughs> he was like, he was like longer than you realize. Right. All right. It's You'll be shocked when you time. find out. But you know what? When I when when they were inside of uh when Steven was inside of the locker and he opened up that bag, he had a gun and like there was money in there. And I'm just like, wait a minute, is Mark is he just like ripping banks off, doing like robberies, like getting money, things like that, you know, just like this it could be possible, right? Well, like that's the kind of bag that you know, like Jason Bourne had. Like mm-hmm. you know, had the bag of money and the yep. guns and whatever in there. Like that's what passports, it feels like. the whole nine. Yeah, yeah, that's mm-hmm. exactly what it felt like when he was in uh, Paris or whatever. Yeah, no, it was in uh, Germany. Well, he was. Uh, he he had a Euro pass, so he was in Germany, <laughs> Paris, <laughs> you know, Belgium. <laughs> yeah, he's all nine. over the place. Right, exactly. He was all over the place. Um, yeah, this, but, like uh, I said, man, this episode was pretty cool. What did you think about this episode? I liked it a lot. Like mm-hmm. I liked the show. The I show was pretty good, right? Really well. Yeah. Yeah. But um, yeah, I like it because it, it gave you more information without being like, "Hey, let me sit down and tell you stuff." Like he was eating. It was a casual way to dump some information on you, but still make it interesting. And like, I want to know more about what Mark has been doing with his body this entire time, because it seems like, like we talked about before, but like, it seems like he's been doing this for years. So there has to be a lot of stuff that this guy's done in the name of the Kishnu character. So yeah. like that I want to know more about that. Like how long he's been doing it for? What, what has he done? You know, where did they get the scarab from? Well actually we do know why he got the scarab. They showed you in the, the first episode. Yeah. That's when he was in that village thing. Uh, but like yeah I, I want to know more about this stuff and I hope that they they uh, add to that in the next episode. Yeah. You only got six. So you got to get to it. You got you six. Go. Well, you know what? They took this episode just like, this is what's really cool about this show. They took episode number mm-hmm. two, Summon the Suit. And it was all about one, let's find out who Layla is. Two, let's mm-hmm. transition Stephen Grant to Mark Spector so that the Moon Knight can start wrecking shop, right? Mm-hmm. And we still, yeah. and we also still see Arthur in there because he wants to scare up. And um, you know, now we get, now we're about to get into this battle. <laughs> we have four episodes of a battle, right? Come on. Yeah, yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. So I'm saying, we're, it's going to get interesting. I yeah. mean, they're going to give a, a good, solid budget for this battle. So I, I hope, I hope it's good. This is a good show, man. Um, I, I do like Loki, but this is a really good show. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna you know, wait until this show is over after we've watched it and compare the two and just figure out which one I really like. Mm-hmm. Loki was kind of cinematic as well, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Had a good feel. Moonlight has a and really good, a good feel. Actor. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It's like so far they have, they have good actors doing these shows. Like they're getting a, well, I would say A-list, but like very high up actors mm-hmm. in, a, in a Disney Marvel company doing these shows. And people that people care about. So, like, I want to see more. I need to make season two of Moon Knight needs to get greenlit right now. Yeah. I mean, I, I, like, how well is this show doing? It has to be doing well. Um, right now, let me see. This episode got um, an 8.3, dude. That sounds about right. That's about I, I right. That's pretty good. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. I think for the most part, like, a lot of these ratings, like IMDb, like, I, I agree for the most part. Like, a th- roundabout. Yeah, they it's gave some, like, it. you know, bum um, ratings to some shows that, re- you know, deserved a bum rating. 
you know, like, um, mm-hmm. so you like the diabolical animation joint we saw. <laughs> one show got like yeah. a, a three or something like that. Like, yeah, it got a three. Yeah, the third one. Because it sucked, that you know? Right, exactly. It. Yeah. It's just like, come on. <laughs> the Aquafina did yeah. that, you know? So, yeah, that's a three or a one. Come on. Yeah, so this mm-hmm. show, I mean, it was nothing really about this show that was like, um, again, it really was based on the transition between Stephen Grant in the moon knight becoming or mark yeah. specter becoming the moon knight full time that's basically what it was all about right yeah this is a building blocks episode this yeah. is just to get you going into the thing mm-hmm. and uh yeah they're setting you up for the next episode because like they're in egypt now so there's gonna be they gotta do some research and digging and there's probably gonna be some chasing some fights in egypt yeah so that should be cool too that's pretty cool man yeah this is again like i said i really like the show um um Ethan Hawke. I was never a big Ethan Hawke fan, but he's um, you know, with two episodes in, I like his character. What do you think? I like I liked him in Training Day. Like, oh well, Training Day. <laughs> come like on, he was like <laughs> rock star in Training Day. Come on, I mean, that's how I yeah, got yeah. really introduced to him. I was like, okay, he was really good in that, you know. But um, mm-hmm. but yeah, but um, well, the first time I I saw Ethan Hawke was Gattaca. That was my first introduction to him. That's okay. a great movie right there. Okay, see, you know what? I have Gattaca on my playlist, dude. Oh, you haven't seen it yet? I have not that seen is a, that yet. Oh, great. Because that's we like should, a... We should review it. That's like, what, a 2011? Or isn't that an old flick? Yeah, it's, it's pretty old. Mm-hmm. Uh, it's, who's else is in it? Uh, um, Jude Law is in it, I think. Okay, yeah. And that that so looks. Is, it looks good. The trailer looks good. I want to check that out. Yeah, it's a it's a great movie. I'm gonna say that. I'm like I'm not gonna tell you about it. It's okay. just a great movie. We gotta see. Hopefully Watch it. We're not, gonna review it. Hopefully, it's not crazy long. We'll see. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, it's not that long. But the premise is interesting. Mm-hmm. Okay, that's cool. Uh, yeah, I'll, I'll leave it like that. We'll, mm-hmm. we'll move on. <laughs> so yeah, this was a really good episode. Again, it wasn't that much to it. It was just you know building a storyline, um, so we can move forward to number three, which should be really 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 good i love the cgi i love the cinematic i love the um just the the movie theater quality man this joint is um, listen you would think this right let me just say this you would think that with an episode like this where all they did was again this was transitioning from stephen grant to mark specter who will become moon knight full-time and Stephen Grant will, you know, um, look at what's going on from afar, <laughs> right? Um, and that's yeah, yeah. pretty much all they did, right? And it was such mm. an interesting episode, right? When you are at that point, yeah. right? It wasn't much to it, but it was still interesting. That, I think that's, that yeah, tells simple, a lot. Yeah, but it, that goes back to good writing and right. good pacing. Because mm-hmm. I wasn't worried about time or like how much more is this, whatever. I'm like... It's like a mystery and it's kind of interesting. So I want to see what happens. But like, that's just good pacing and good writing. You can't, mm-hmm. you can't account for that. Like you can throw as much special effects as you want, but if your, your pacing is terrible, it's not going to work. And mm-hmm. right now I like where everything is going on with this show. And I definitely want to see more. Yeah. Yeah. Like six might be too, sh- too few episodes. Right. It, it could it might need more so let's we'll see right but me, i'm all in i'm, I'm all 100 percent in. let me ask you this and then we yeah. can wrap it up because this was uh again just a um a transition you know sort of episode mm. do you think that moon knight would have been a good movie yeah I in the theaters i mean introduction to like a, a new you know sort of like uh superhero or whatever he is um, yeah what do you think but i think that it it could have been a good movie i don't think i don't know how well it would have done though in theaters yeah exactly i think that you'd have to the the movies for like especially marvel stuff they they're interconnected so as long as people know it's interconnected they would support it but just in general i don't know how many people are rushed to see it initially but like it could it could maybe i don't know it could do well I, if it was a movie, I think it could do well. I think the other thing is, like, um, I haven't watched a lot of Marvel movies, but I don't think I've ever seen him in a Marvel movie. No, no, he's not in. He's not in. Okay, this is their first introduction. Right. So I think with the introduction ever of a, anywhere, ever anywhere. So I think because it's a new character, like you know, first introduction, something like this probably mm-hmm. 
would work better probably the way it is now episodically just on a stream yeah, yeah i think it like is that. better because you have to connect it to the universe right and like he's not a like he's not a, a galaxy fighting character yeah like he seems Iron like Man he goes solo for the most part he's huh? more yeah he's he's low level he, he's what they call a, a street level character mm -hmm. like spider-man mm -hmm. or daredevil he's he's on that level mm -hmm. he's not super powerful like he can punch a monster or whatever like he's kind of he's low key he's like slightly stronger than a regular human so like he's street level he's around luke cage spider-man level right as far as power goes mm -hmm. and where he would be in the universe but not popularity like okay. luke cage and spider-man are way more popular than most people have never heard of moonlight <laughs> right but you know like even with luke cage you know i mean i know he's been introduced you know into the uh, whole mcu mm. or um is that dc yeah, everybody knows who luke cage is though. okay yeah so you can bring him out as a movie you know it, it worked better episodically yeah right yeah well i think yeah maybe i don't know <laughs> yeah and mike coulter guy he's he's a good actor mm -hmm. he's in the he's in the halo thing too yeah that's true that's the guy true. played luke cage he's he's in the halo show mm -hmm. um yeah, and one of them. That's yeah, right. Like I, the movie. I think it could have. Mm -hmm. It could have worked, huh? Yeah, it could. I think it could. I think. I think Luke Cage could have worked. But, I like. Uh, like they, I was yeah, they, so they disappointed. Yeah, I was so disappointed, man, when they canceled that. Right. Yeah, like I like Luke Cage. Like the actor's perfect for. Yeah, it. that man. Actually, the casting for all that stuff that was on Netflix was perfect. And then Disney's uh, just like, hey, we, we're coming out with our own streaming app. We're taking it off. Luke Cage is not even yeah, on um, Netflix anymore. It's on Yeah, they, 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 uh, they removed itself at yeah. the end of May. Wow. No, March. That's crazy, March man. is the last thing, and they moved everything. Yeah, like, I, it's a shame. Well, I think that there's rumors that they're going to continue their shows on Disney now. I hope so. There's rumors. You got to give me some I, more Luke I Cage. I really liked... I, I really like Daredevil. That was the best one. I like Punisher as well. I don't know if that's going to happen, though. Yeah. Punisher may not happen. Jessica Jones but, uh, just started getting corny after the second season, right? It was just like, eh. The first season was so good, though. Yeah, right. first season was phenomenal. But the I second season sort ones. of, like, slid off, and then the third season was like, nah, we oh, can't, you know. Don't give us, like, it's just like, we'll give them tighter jeans. It's just like, no, that's not going to work. It's just, she's the not, she's not that great. The third season was so bad. Yeah, it was not good, man. And then she... I know we're on a tangent here, but like she's supposed to be with Luke Cage. Like they're they're a couple. Yeah. It's like Spider Man and, and Mary Jane. Like they're supposed mm. to be together. Right. I don't know what they're doing with that. Like just get it over with. Like just go. They're well, it's all together. on Disney Plus. So hopefully something to come out because, <laughs> you know, Loki and a big time characters, man, they, they have other things they are doing. So they better get to it. Yeah. So say they, mm. you can get more content when you got these guys just go, go doing their thing. But like a lot of these actors moved on. I know um, what's the name? Uh, what's the girls that the girl that played uh, Jessica Jones? Oh, what about uh, her? She I moved on. Name. Yeah, but she was like, she had like some kind of Instagram post or or maybe it's a tweet, like a, hey, I I I'll still do it. Like <laughs> she like all the characters I've seen so far the. Uh, the guy that did um iron fist mm -hmm. he's like i'm in the gym training like call me up let's go uh i think luke cage is probably the only character that may he might be busy yeah from other other engagements from other tv shows yeah that's true i'm not sure though maybe i'm he's, not sure he's working he's working <laughs> yeah well they're all yeah. working but I but think that they think like those constantly characters working enough. now. Yeah. But you know what? Well, here's the thing. Like, and then we'll wrap it up. Out of all those three mm -hmm. characters, the Punisher, Jessica Jones, Luke Cage, do you which one would they like say, hey, we gotta bring this one back first? Luke Cage, you think? Well, they they brought back Daredevil for the Spider Man movie. Mm -hmm. Well, they they hinted it at it. Mm -hmm. Cause the Daredevil character, he was in the in the Spider Man movie. He was his lawyer. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. So okay. like, they they guess they technically connected the universe already. Mm -hmm. So it, it's possible, but like if they're gonna do it, Daredevil will be the one to, to start it off because he's the better character of all of them. And 
yeah, I would I would like to see Luke Cage and Iron Fist to, to actually do the show together. Yeah, that's what I want to see. That'd be pretty. Cool. I, I like those characters. I know we're talking about something totally different than uh, Moon Knight. Yeah, I know. But it was all in the same realm. <laughs> Listen, we liked Moon Knight. It's a great yes. show, right? Damn it. That's all you need to Back know. Back to Moon Knight. It. Dude, okay. <laughs> Moon Knight episode number two, Summon uh, the Suit. What are you going to give it? Mm. Your rating? i give it an 8.3. Whoa, okay. 8.3. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it was good. I like I that, like man. Mm-hmm. I'm going to give it an 8.5. Be- I was going to say 8.3 as well, but I'm going to give it an 8.5 because it was good. I like this. Okay. I'm I'm really, really, really looking forward to what's coming up next. Yeah, yeah. I want to see. I want to finish this thing. It's, it's good. I'm I'm all in. I'm feet first in this thing. Right. Let's go. And I appreciate, you know, I, I was never. Some shows I'm not into. Like, oh, I got to wait next week for the next episode to come out. <laughs> but this show right here, I'm, I'm kind of okay with that, right? The weekly? Like the way yeah. it's going right now? I'm, I'm okay with how they're feeding us this show, man. Weekly. Yeah, yeah. Because it's not, it's not ending on super cliffhangers. Like the Expanse. Like I'm just like pacing left and right. Like hurry up. Like let's go. Right. <laughs> uh, <laughs> exactly. But uh, this one, like I'm, I'm okay. The pacing's all right. I don't mind the week thing. The week yeah. wait is all right. It's pretty cool, man. Good this is it. a pretty good show, man. Well, there you have it. Another episode of the Behind the Groove podcast. I am Basil Barrington. I am DJ Keel. Thanks for listening. Thanks for watching. And until next time, peace. All right.